In this video, we're going to go over the construction line and ray commands. So, where are they? I don't see them in the draw panel. So, if I look down on the slide out, there it is construction line and ray. So, I want to pick on construction line first. <laughs> and I can see that it's asking me to specify a point. So, if I pick a point, it's going to go out and I can use my polar tracking to make construction lines. Or if I hit tab, I can put them in at specific degrees. It's not on my polar tracking. And they just go forever and ever in all directions. <clears throat> the alias for construction line is XL. And I can also put in horizontal lines. Every time I click, it's going to put in a horizontal line. Or vertical lines. And this, these are used really well when you're projecting points from one view to another view uh, to keep things lined up uh, horizontally and vertically. We can also go in and they have an angle option so you can do a preset angle or bisect. This is a really fun one. So I can just do B for bisect. Now I put my vertex and then pick one endpoint and another endpoint and it bisects the angle for me. So that's pretty nice. I can also offset. So now it's working kind of like the regular offset command. I can tell it distance, pick my existing line, click where I want it to be, and now it offsets it and turns it into a construction line. <laughs> so that's, that's really good. Um, so construction line going on forever. Let's say I want to trim part of this line off, so I'm going to trim, and I trim the outside of this line. Now, it's just a regular line. It's just a line. And you can also see that down here, I can see the length of that line. <clears throat> the ray is just like the construct construction line, so we just always start at one point and we go the other, point, other direction. If I pick on it, it's a ray. I don't have a length because it's going forever in that other direction. 